Question is, can you please elaborate on what are the other ways of attaining CPD points apart from attending conferences or webinars? So I think we've covered a, a number of opportunities, Fofner. So firstly, um, planning your CPD for the year gains you points. So having a plan is, um, is one way. Um, uh, so to mentioned formal online or in-person courses as well. Um, peer review and networking. Uh, re, uh, I think you mentioned also reading journal articles, um, up to date, um, current practices, that sort of thing. Um, Francisca mentioned teaching a medical student that usually counts. Uh, we're obviously not trying to talk talk the specifics of the new program next year, but you, there's usually a fairly long list of things that will count. Um, sometimes there are specific requirements. For example, um, up to now, I believe for um, for RSC GP, you had to do a basic life support course once every three years. Um, so yeah, there are lots of activities. Um, uh, any any others that I should throw in the mix there, guys? Podcast. Yeah, podcast. There's actually the option of quick logging your activity, mm. so you can put anything on there that is related yeah. to CBD. And the yeah, like a, a reflection counts for yeah. CPD points usually. Yep, yep. Or a critical event analysis, or mm. we we mm. meet up with my colleagues once a month and have a peer group um, mm -hmm. where we discuss cases. Um, there is actually a really good resource from the ICGP, which um, shows you different CBD options. It's called CBD Activity Mapping, and it goes through all the different types of activities that count towards CBD, worthwhile having a look on the ICGP website. Yeah, great. And um, things like audit, doing research, um, examining. <laughs> Uh, students and uh, trainees, etc. Um, pretty much anything you can think of usually counts. And the, if you go to that link we've put in the uh, description, you'll probably find some more information um, that can guide you about uh, what counts.